a horse. A horse is a, ve is a vehicle of speed. They will be happening violently, small arms warfare, knifings, chaos, attacks against infrastructure in France, in Germany, in the UK, in the United States, and maybe a little bit in Australia. These things are going to happen. A lot of it is going to be the media just adding to adding to the fear programming. Adding, But again, this is going to also pass, but it's going to be in direct response to something Israel does. Right. So we've just passed through the White Horse and entering into the red horse, which the end of the first seal of the po the, the closing of the first seal of the apocalypse was April was the April eighth eclipse. And Jason goes into this where he says that um it says that a pot like um in Revelation a crown will be given to him. And this is the corona um of the of the eclipse, the sun eclipsing the moon. So anyway, in the the in the Greek definition, we because the the um, revelation is written by John in Greek, and I don't I probably won't say this right, but the word used is not sword for the horseman because it's it's um, within pop culture in the in the in Christianity that the second horseman of the apocalypse is the red horseman that carries a sword, but it doesn't say sword in Greek. It says machiara, right? And I believe Jason said this is where you get the word machete. This is where machete, because I think what's machete, Italian, Italian word, maybe French, Italian. But in Greek, it's ma machiara, right? So I've looked up a number of different definitions, but um, it says here, a large knife used for killing animals and cutting up fish, a small sword as distinguished for from a large sword, curved sword for a cutting, for a cutting stroke, and a straight sword for thrusting. Okay, I've got one more here. The Greek word machiara, also translated to machiara, is related to a battle to fight. What are we seeing with these knives? It derives from the <clears throat> Proto-Indo-European ma. Homer mentions the machiara. So it's, yeah, it comes from Homer. But as a domestic knife of no great size. The horseman is not carrying a sword. He's carrying a domestic knife. What are we seeing with these stabbings? This is the second seal. This is like the, the beginning of the second seal. And um, what Jason's interpretation of a horse, a horse is rapid moving. So there was no knife attacks and it's starting to spread really quickly until this goes worldwide. And then people are starting to, it's, an, it's going to be a new form of awakening going, what is going on here? This is coordinated. And the coordination um, the the knife seems to me it's not just going to be because it's got part of it is going to be the sleeper cell thing that they're going to do with unleashing the the so called Muslim terrorists in Europe and America and here as well. But um, the knife really is the energy. The knife and the fire are the two energies of the second seal. So it, like it it seems very undeniable that this is where we are right at the moment. I'll just share this other one. I don't want to make this too long, but um. Yeah, so with the first seal, um, actually, fuck, we don't really need to go into that, do we? It's not related for now. I'll skip that. Um, okay, I'll go back to Google. Just give me one second. Okay, yeah, so the rugby, rugby sevens is on, so I just thought this is interesting, but it says that the... Um, for the first time, the Rugby Sevens matches will commence two days before the opening ceremony in the men's preliminary and qualifying final stage. All right, so I'm, I don't know anything, but I'm just saying, look, this may be something to look out for. And we've seen with the symbol of the Paris Olympics, it is like the flame, and it also, I'll put it in here, the symbol of the Paris Olympics, it looks like a flame, but it also looks like a woman. Um, and Jason says his interpretation of the second seal of the apocalypse is to steal peace from the earth. And it reminds me of... Uh, Mark Passio speaks about how the Satanists perform three two types of rituals. They do like creation, destruction, and sex rituals. Um, and particularly the creation and the sex rituals um, are tied to women, especially the creation rituals. So if you look at, and this is what they are trying to create, and in the destruction rituals, they call it the destruction of care. Or in um, what people have seen in Bohemian Grove, that ritual is called the cremation of care to destroy care on the earth. So to have the Paris symbol of the woman as a flame 
um, we can get all into flame symbol symbolism and the internal flame of the Olympics. And it's actually a flame. It's a smokeless flame, which represents artificial intelligence and the gin. But I just find that interesting that it looks like a woman's face. Happen. I pointed out straight away. Now, they're making a big focus um, that he's wearing an Australian rugby football jersey, so the rugby league jersey. Now, I saw in, um, I think it was Rebel Sports last week, has just cancelled they're not selling this shirt. And they're saying because of this reason, right? So I'm thinking, okay, there's so Ola is always taught to look for the clues. And it's um, his name actually became a verb called demigarding, and it basically means looking for the clues. Now, you have to understand that they always put clues, in the, and this is part of Revelation of the Method and of how they try and interact with natural law to say, hey, we told you so, and also give clues for the upcoming events. So anyway, look at this one with the point. I just want to point out that he's wearing the kangaroos football jersey. So I, I'll just put the, I just put that on the back burner. I'm like, okay, they're kind of highlighting that. And they keep referring to him as the man in the green shirt too. So they're not just saying a football top. They're highlighting that the shirt is green. And Zelano is green. And Zelensky, which is a is Slavic language as well, is green. He's, he's literally the green man. Zelensky means green, the green man, like Satan. So they're pointing this out again too. They keep saying the man with the green shirt. So I just found that interesting. So I've seen that in a few articles. Um so I just want to point out here, so that I'm f seeing this theme that they're pointing out sport. It's a very common occurrence that they will move in new security, right? And a lot of these security will be black ops, black ops cutouts. Mental health issues, but also online radicalisation issues. Uh, declare it as a terrorist act going forward. Uh, it's about timing. If I need extra capability, particularly from the Commonwealth, um, and really what they're asking for is um, because they've had a police officer come on and say that if only they were terrorists, then we could do a lot more. Now, because of what they put in with the counterterrorism legislation many years ago, which was never designed for the Muslim terrorists, and people are starting to work that out now, is because under like things like the Patriot Act that were brought in in America in, um, straight after 9-11, that's what allowed them to have Guantanamo Bay, right? So that's a Guantanamo Bay is illegal. But because of the Patriot Act and national security, and you can hold someone on terrorism charges indefinitely, right? And you can hold them without charge. So, and this all feeds into the pre-crime. So that's why they try to tie in this. They're trying to tie domestic violence with terrorism. And the reason they're trying to tie domestic violence with terrorism is they want to be able to prosecute, um, detain, and arrest people um, under terrorism legislation. All right, I've worked it out. The Bondi stabber was wearing a rugby top. One of the victims did an interview yesterday, said she was going to buy volleyball. Another stabbing victim's mother came on the TV today, said he was a professional lacrosse player, and now there's an attack at a gym today. So there's clearly they're putting this sports theme in all these murders, right? And all different types of sports, right? And we know this is running on the four-year Olympiad. That's what the that's what the seals are doing. And what's the epicenter of this? It's going to be the Paris Olympics, which is the symbol of the flame and all these sports. That's where it's going.